Before anything, we must measure our piece and how much we want to cut off. Using the measuring tape, I measured the piece to be 7 and 78 inches long. I want to cut off 1 inch, so I draw a line to guide my cut, and I also draw an X on the scrap side to help confirm where the scrap side is. For safety, I get rid of all loose clothing, wear safety glasses, and I do a safety check of the machine to see if it's in working order. I check the safety guard, make sure the blade is sharp, make sure the blade runs without any issues on the upper and lower guide rollers, and I finally check the carriage's path for any problems. Then I secure the piece firmly with the clamp, I make sure there are no foreign objects on the table, for example, I brush off any sawdust and wood chips. Then I make sure no one is cl too close to the machine before I start cutting. Then I begin my cut. I start from the front using the carriage hand lever first, then using the carriage foot lever, keeping in mind to keep body parts away from the machine. Keep right hand at the emergency button just in case if anything happens. Once you're done cutting your piece, return the blade to park at its original position by releasing the carriage foot lever and pushing down on the carriage hand lever. Clean the area, remove the wood, and throw out any scrap pieces for the next person to use. For the final checkup, we measured the wood to check if we cut exactly one inch off. The original piece was 7 and 78 inches, and the new piece is 6 and 78 inches. Thus, we cut uh, exactly one inch.